Welcome back to Switch to Linux, and we are into the business section of the news. So these are recorded live, 9 o'clock Friday, um, 9 o'clock p.m. Friday Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to catch the whole show, uh, interact with people through the comment section, that's where you can do that. But these news clips are pulled out so that you can... Uh, get a brush up on the news without having to dig through it all uh, on the longer format. So today we are going to start out with a affiliate sponsor, uh, which is SiteGround. Uh, I've used SiteGround with some of my hosting uh, clients in the past. This has been a great company. They have free SSLs. Their service is, is very good. Every time I've had to call them up on the phone, they picked up the phone very quickly and I rarely ever had to call them though because their hosting is just pretty stinking good. Uh, my affiliate link will be in the description down below. It is tlm.li forward slash sgh for SiteGround host. So um, again, you can uh, grab a lot of different types of hosting platforms. There will be the link in the description down below. Uh, definitely check them out if you are in need of a website. <laughs> now on to the corporatocracy news. While well, Apple is introducing a new Apple card, it's a new kind of credit card. You know, I read through all this stuff. The only things that I see that's different about this and other cards is they have more back-end AI to track more of what you're doing. I don't like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and have a look. Built on simplicity, transparency, and privacy. It's not based on privacy, all right? Privacy is, I go, I use the card, and nobody really knows what I use the card for except me and the merchant. Well, their card literally will track everything. It's quite hilarious that they call this thing based on privacy. But let's go ahead. Oh, to help customers lead a healthier financial life. I got news for you, people. I got news for you. If you want to help somebody lead a better, healthier financial life, don't get a credit card. Don't get a credit card. Credit cards are the bane of society. It is dumb. Certainly don't get one by Apple. This is a company that's figured out how to screw everybody out of every possible piece of money they could possibly ever have. And we want to turn around and get a credit card from these guys? They've just figured out, oh, our sales are dropping. Man, we have just jacked up the price of our phones so high, no one's going out and buying them anymore. What is the better way to get what we need? I got it. Let's sell credit cards. What better way to screw over more people? We'll even get the people who can't afford our products onto this service. Yay! So a new kind of credit card. So of course this kind of sinks into Apple Pay. Oh, your total balance. Um, now, um, you know, here's your total balance. Here's your available. Ooh, payments due in six days. You can pay it. Here's your weekly activity. You can see your budgets. Guys, this is not a budget. A budget is when you plan out where your money's going and you go and you do it. That's a budget, people. That's a budget, okay? This is looking where your money went. That's not a budget. This isn't helpful to look back retrospectively over your, your past week to see where your money is. You're not a time traveler. You can't look at that and make good financial decisions. You, you just have the buyer's remorse of the crap that you probably put on your credit card this week. Lordy. So the new Apple Card, innovative new kind of card created by Apple and designed to help customers lead, lead a healthier financial life. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm not buying this. Um, the, the, the moron bells are going off in my head. Me, me, me. Um, Apple Card is built into the Apple Wallet app on the iPhone, offering customers a familiar experience with Apple Pay and the ability to manage their card right on the phone. Apple Card transforms the entire credit card experience. But the only thing I experience with a credit card is I experience the heartache of what happens when their interest rates are eating away at you and you're in debt up to your eyeballs. Only now, now it's not enough. We've sold our souls to Apple. Now we'll sell our wallets to Apple too. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too negative. Am I being too negative on this? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, Apple Card transformed the entire credit experience by simplifying the application process, eliminating fees, encouraging customers to pay less interest, and providing a new level of privacy and security. Available, not if it's connected to your phone. All right, anyway. Available in the U.S. this summer, Apple Card also offers a clearer and more compelling reward program than any uh, than other credit cards with daily cash gives back to you a percentage of every purchase as cash on your Apple cash card each day. Oh joy. 
Mommy Apple, give me my allowance today. So of course, you only get the cash if you spend a lot. So if you go and you go on a shopping spree with your Apple thing, and they look down and go, woohoo, I made five bucks yesterday. Yeah, by spending 500. I, not good. Um, now, I believe that they're giving you, I think, 2% back on most purchases, 3% back if you purchase those um, uh, on, uh, let's see, 3% on daily cash on purchases made directly with Apple, including at Apple stores and on the app and for Apple services. So if you're buying Apple services, woohoo, you get a 3% off. Oh, look at this. Uh, March 19th, you have multiple different things, multiple different transactions. Oh, $46 just this month. No, this is $46 in the last two days. <laughs> no fees, lower interest. Oh, look at this. Um, there's a little one. That means fine print at the bottom. Oh, look at this. Goldman Sachs and Master. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the masters in here. Master, master, where's those dreams that I've been after? Master, master, your promise is only lies. Laughter, laughter. All I ever hear is laughter laughing at my cries. <sighs> Goldman Sachs, MasterCard and Apple, the unholy trinity, evil of business, are teaming up to make sure you go broke. Of course, that's their press release. Here's their amazing Apple card. This is Apple card. Okay, Apple, I got news for you. Your scrolly JavaScript effects are stupid. Stop doing this crap. Oh, the power of iPhone in a credit card. <gasps> wow. There's so much more about your spending at a glance. I know about my spending before it's spent because I'm on a budget. Wowzers. Oh, look at this. Everything you buy gets a category and a color. That doesn't sound like privacy to me, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, we get, we get, we get unicorn poop bar graphs to indicate how much money we're spending. Daily cash. No points. No gimmicks. Yeah. Crazy. What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> All right, well, um, Sony confirms it's going to stop letting GameStop and other retailers sell PS4 download codes. So if you are kind of like me and you just generally would prefer to not have to sign up with PS4 stuff um, and uh, you want to go to the local GameStop store or some other local retailer, Purchase the download code to go on, enter the code, and download the game onto your PS4 because they won't say the disc anymore. Well, you can't do that anymore either. So uh, you can still get DLCs and things like that from the local store. So you guys still flying 737 Maxes, go get your DLCs. It's going to save lives, all right? All right, so... Um, Sony did confirm that uh, no retailer is after April 1st is going to be able to sell um, is going to be able to sell the um, the download keys uh, to grab any of the games that you want. So any of those games, sorry. Now you can still go there and you can buy cash, and then you can use the cash on their store to buy the games. Guys, this is a this is going to turn into a lawsuit. I can see it coming. My crystal ball has shown me because this is this is the sheer definition of antitrust. The sheer definition of antitrust. We are preventing you from buying your products anywhere but from our store. That is exactly what antitrust laws are against. So this is going to turn into a lawsuit. It's just going to be a matter of when. Uh, but yes, uh, Sony did confirm that they will not anymore uh, allow you to purchase your uh, downloadable games with a code that you purchase at a retailer. Why? Because they're hungry to have all of your payment information directly tied up into their app so the hackers can get in there and steal it again. That's exciting. But fear not, um, there is a new vehicle startup, Canoe. This is actually a, uh, Evolucity, Evolucity uh, rebranded as a new company called Canoe. They are going to be offering you brand new electric cars only at a subscription service. So you can't go buy the car. You have to get a subscription service for the car. 
if this company survives one year, it is going to be a testament to the sheer stupidity of the American people. <laughs> okay, that's all I need. A subscription service for my car. Effectively, leasing. Leasing, leasing, leasing. Um, so they were founded late 2017. They are going to start sales in 2021. They have raised about $1 billion in capital so far. And it's going to be electric cars, all sellable exclusively on a subscription service. Wow, corporatocracy is taking over. Well, um, if anybody has used uh, tech support at Office Depot, you might be probably getting a $5 check mailed to you sometime soon. So if you took your computer in because it was running slow to an Office Depot and they did their little, their little um, program on it, then um, basically they were maliciously telling you that you had malware and you needed to pay $300 for their malware tools to clean it up. Well, it turns out that that was just like that guy that kind of created one of the first scams about this, gets online, creates an ad, it fakes a malware scan, tells you you're infected, you gotta click the button, give him your credit card information, and, and he sells you a program that doesn't do anything. All right? Except block his thing from running again, by the way. So it turns out that Office Depot really liked that trick and decided to start doing it. Um, and so from, I think it's 2013 to 2016, I think, um, if you had this, which I think is the time when the Office Depot brand effectively closed, um, then uh, they, will, um, they would run this application. It would tell you that you had virus, even though it didn't. They would upsell you a $300 package and uh, they have agreed to pay $25 million and the company they were working with agreed to pay $10 million. So a total of $35 million total to be divided between the number of people, which is probably a lot. So like I said, y'all all got scammed for 300 bucks a few years ago by a big box retailer and in eh, another year or two, you might get a check for five or 10 bucks in the mail. Woohoo! Bonus, bonus. Uh, AKA guys, switch to Linux, switch to Linux. You'll take your computer in them. They're like, I don't even know how to get this thing to work. It'll be like that woman who bought that Ubuntu computer from Dell. I can't even get my internet working. Um, but anyway, uh, that was exciting. <clears throat> On to our feature story for the day. Music label Sue Charter complain that high-speed internet feels privacy. Or piracy, excuse me. That's right. That's right. Charter apparently has fast internet. And they're getting sued for it because it fuels pirates. Now, that was not the major point of this. So, of course, um, the music industry, like, who is worse than the ISPs? Like, think of who is worse than the ISPs. Oh, the music industry. Oh, lordy. Um, so, basically, Sony, Universal, and Warner claim that Charter refused to kick music pirates off their network. So, they said they sent several hundred, actually thousands of uh, notices to Charter to, um, basically it was thousands of notices to Charter saying, this IP address is probably stealing our stuff. You need to tell us who they are. And Charter's like, no, <laughs> no, you got it. And really this is, the funny thing is this article is very one-sided. It contains large chunks from the music industry and nothing directly from Charter. This is a long issue going back and Basically, this deals with the DMCA, where if a provider enables piracy, all they had to do to prevent liability for that piracy is act in good faith to take it down. Okay, so an ISP generally can't be sued for fueling privacy unless they fail to respond. The problem is, is that these music industries are going on fishing expeditions. They're asking for information They're like, oh, well, we think that this IP address is on a torrent site. Well, that doesn't give you the information that you need. 
and Charter was protecting their customers' privacy, saying, you got to give me more than just a, an IP address to actually let me know, am I, what are these people really doing? Give me these songs, give me the information. And these industries weren't doing that. They were just giving massive lists of IP addresses saying, we need to know who these people are so we can sue them. And Charter says, I'm not doing that. And so they are suing them for not responding to these requests. But the lawsuit also contained this hilarious little clause. Many of Charter's customers are motivated to subscribe to Charter's customer service, uh, Charter service, excuse me, because it allows them to download music and other copyrighted content, including unauthorized content, as efficiently as possible. Accordingly, in its consumer marketing material, including material directed to Colorado customers, Charter has touted its new service, enables subscribers to download and upload large amounts of content at blazing fast internet speeds, end quote. Charter has told existing and prospective customers that its high-speed services enable subscribers to download just about anything instantly, and subscribers have the ability to download, quote, eight songs in three seconds, end quote. Charter has further told subscribers that the internet service has the speed you need for everything you do online. In exchange for this service, Charter has charged its customers monthly fees ranging in price based on the speeds and service. That is right. The music industry is suing Charter for providing fast internet. Wow. Uh, like I said, there's no real response from this, but I, I, I do like uh, I do like one of the comments here. I don't. Uh, where's it at? I think it's. Uh, I think one of the comments down here was really hilarious. Oh, yeah, let's see the oil companies since their fuel is used in crimes. Uh, the only reason people buy fast internet is to pirate. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Another really funny one is, yeah, because they really had a choice as to whether to buy Charter or not. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't really have much choice. So to me, these, these guys' content ID systems produce more false positives than... Um, than a, a battery factory. I mean, come on. Um, literally everything that, I mean, I could go, nee, 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 and I promise somebody somewhere is going to flag that as, as some music. And if I get a copyright claim for going, nee, 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 that would be hilarious. Um, I'm not sure that's going to gonna happen, but definitely that would be hilarious. Um, <laughs> But that's the problem is these guys are these guys are so overreaching. They're going on fishing expeditions and charters like y'all are overwhelming us with massive amounts of bad quality evidence of things happening. And they're basically saying, let's see some real proof and we'll get you the information. Now, uh, Cox Internet did lose one of these cases. So unfortunately, there's a little bit of precedent that um, um, they might actually lose, but it kind of depends on the quality of the requests. So that's right. Music labels are suing Charter over fast internet, among other things. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you can help support the channel. Have a look at the links uh, up above and in the description down below. Don't forget to have a look at that affiliate link as well. You can follow along on social media if you use any of those and want to get some more channel updates. So thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.